Hello again. So uh, now is going to be an exciting lightning talk about change management. Who is excited? Damn it, nobody is. <laughs> okay, but hopefully with a personal twist. Um, so this one is called Refactoring Light Life, and I'll be happily eating into Jürgen's time now. Um, so, what if you are trying to refactor a piece of code? I would strongly advise that you check if it compiles first. Uh, so when I looked at uh, refactoring my own life uh, about a year ago and, and a bit, um, I asked myself this question first. Does my life compile? After all, I was living in this beautiful small market town in England, uh, had a fairly comfortable, uh, sizable house that was unbelievably cheap, now that I reflect from where I am. Um, and I could go for trips and have beautiful sites like this, available uh, you know, within a couple of hours. Uh, what not to like? Uh, and I was working for this guy, imagine. I, this was my boss in my previous company. Uh, he, he only cared about bugs, the literal bugs, right? Um, but then um, somehow I bumped into this, uh, and unfortunately I read this and it stuck in my head. Right? If today were the last day of your life, would you want to do what you are about to do today? So, hey, I uh, asked myself this question. Uh, I asked our family this question. And we decided that it probably doesn't compile the way it is right now. We tried to fix a number of things. We actually tried to see if in the situation we have, there are things that we can change to make it good. And we decided probably not. So, then it was time to refactor. So, how do you refactor your life? In five simple steps. It's, it's really easy. You do this. You sell your house. Yeah. Uh, you pack all your stuff. You pack it safely and make sure it uh, arrives where you want it to arrive. Uh, so, you, ha you leave empty and clean house behind. Um, you get... Uh, and then... And then what? And then you have to decide where to go. Okay, there's quite a big option space. I could probably safely say that some of these areas were out of the question for us, but uh, especially Europe wasn't. So what do you do when you have to make an important decision? Any ideas? Go on, shout some, some. Okay, random, throw dice. I was not sure we were ready to subject our lives and livelihoods to pure chance. Any other ideas? Yeah, you could iterate, but uh, in this case, we kind of iterated on what we could do. Um, like when I ask this to my f um, fellow colleagues at Spotify, there is always the same answer. Come on, Kevin. What is it? Oh, come on, Henrik. What is it? Oh, use data, right? <laughs> okay, so we actually use data. It turns out there is this social progress index. There is data around how does it feel to leave, live in, in different countries? I looked at this index, and for reasons that I'm not going to go into now, we have not chosen Norway. <laughs> um, but we thought that moving up that index from England to Sweden would be a smart move, actually supported by data. So what do you do? You get on a car, you drive across, and then you get your personal number in Sweden. Without this, there's no, no life in Sweden. Um, and then it turns out that actually kids are pretty happy. We live quite, quite close to this wonderful lake. Uh, we have this thing that we can eat. I don't know, th 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 these two kids. Do you recognize this? Do you like this stuff? Come on, vanilla sauce and crumb. Well, it's, it's fantastic, right? Um, and then it turns out that you get to, f to work for a fairly cool company. And what's even better, it's not just a cool company. You know, like it's, it's got all these people. So how did it go, right? Did that work? Well, it turns out that you have this in your company, right? That's pretty cool. But whenever I see this machine, it always reminds me of, of one person. And this is the person. I don't know if you know him. Jerry Weinberg. Uh, and then this guy has something to say about change as well, and about refactoring and improvements. And this is what he has to say, that we tend to think about change like this. But really, change looks like this over time. 
So of course, as we moved, things went wrong. <laughs> not everything worked out. Right? We, it was a nightmare to find a house. It was a nightmare to get all the documents sorted. And it bloody rained. Like when I went for the interview, it was sunny. How did it dare rain in Stockholm? Uh, actually, it rained in England as well. Uh, but then, you know, there was this. Uh, so here is the plan. If you want to refactor something, change your life, change your company, change your culture, make sure it compiles first, okay? Use data and use your intuition. Um, stick with it, get through the bump, make sure that if it rains, you wait for the sunny day, and then repeat, but not too often. And then this is what I saw when we went to the uh, kindergarten with our kids on the first day. And it turns out that it fits perfectly. Progress is impossible without change, and do more of what makes you happy. Okay, thank you very much.